video and today we are going to take a look at this uh, rewire this board I just changed the blower motor and the wheel so now it's time to wire it all back up so I figured I'd take you along for the ride so you can see kind of how all these wires and where they all go we're dealing with a Bryant unit <coughs> okay so the first wire we see here dangling is the neutral the neutral that comes off the transformer and here is the uh, <coughs> hot wire that goes to the um, uh, transformer so um, this is the neutral so here's your neutral terminals right here there's five of them right here so we're going to take this one and we're going to connect it over here on one of the neutral tabs all right, so now our transformer is rewired. That's it. You see PR1, and then the other side of that would be uh, PR2. I don't know if it's labeled, but <clears throat> some cases they are labeled PR2. All right, so this one's easy. This is a no-brainer. This one, which will hook up last, for card card style con Molex connector. All right, so this one here uh, more than likely is our inducer. No, maybe uh, maybe the igniter. Let's see. <coughs> Two black wires are going up there. Anyway, we're going to connect this one right here. Yeah, this one goes to the hot surface igniter. Okay, this one is our L1 and our L2 or our L1 uh, this is our line and this is our neutral so see where it says L1 connects to here and then our neutral connects over here on the neutral side okay we've got a couple of other neutrals here which we're going to connect here and here and that's it wiring harness except for this is all done that one's pretty easy. All right. Well, let's go through all these wires. I'm going to lay these out for you. Now, without knowing exactly what, look without looking at the motor. Actually, we could probably look at the old motor. <clears throat> okay, the old motor. On every single motor, you're always going to have, this one happens to be a five-speed motor, but in some cases, they may only be three speeds, or they may be four speeds. This one's a five, so the black is always and ever will be high speed. Red is always and ever will be low speed, okay? And in this case, black is high speed and we always want the highest speed to go on the cooling tab okay which is right here and secondly uh, depending on your heat rise or your delta t uh, in heat mode you want to adjust your fan speed but we are going to um, put medium high um, on that one okay so <clears throat> here we have black is high speed blue is medium high yellow is medium orange is medium low and red is low okay so that leaves three extra wires now you can't just leave them flopping in the breeze if you have an older furnace that does not have this type of board you have to put a wire nut and some tape over them so that they don't short out because however they're not connected internally there will be voltage present on these wires <coughs> so in this case you have spare one two and three and in some boards they're called park <coughs> so we're going to park our unused motor leads on these spare terminals like so that leaves one wire left and this is a small spade connector and that goes on the one that's labeled lower just like that the only two wires that we didn't talk about 
are these two, which goes to the capacitor. The capacitor in this case is a 35, and you see brown and brown connect to the capacitor, and it calls right here for 35, 370, and that would be these two brown short wires on this motor. That's it. The only other thing that we really didn't talk about here is our thermostat wire, but I've already addressed this in another video, so if you'd like to see that video on how to wire this up, check that out. Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you all on the next video.